Alright, alright, you've been hearing a lot about the Zig language lately. But the problem is, you don't give a f do you? Well, I'm about to change that. But first, why should you give a f in the first place? Well, I'm not waiting for you to answer, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer that. It's because it's a new language that challenges C, C++, and Rust. And it even performs better than some famous languages. And it's so easy to learn, to the point where this video will get you started. For example, simplicity. Zig is a simple language that follows the principle of less is more. It has C-like syntax that is easy to read and write. It has no hidden control flows, no memory allocations, no preprocessor, no macros, and certainly no bull****. What that means is if you see something and you think it's a function, it is a f function. If you see a variable, it is a variable. Is it clear, bitch? Bitch. Also, no complex features like generics, straights, or lifetimes. It doesn't have any runtime or garbage collector. It doesn't have any standard library or built-in types. It doesn't have any keywords or reserved words. Alright, bitch. Zig lets you write code that is clear and concise without any unnecessary boilerplate or abstractions. You can focus on the logic of your program rather than the syntax of the language. You can learn Zig quickly without having to master a lot of concepts. You know what? Let me teach you how to write a Hello World app real quick. To download Zig, head over to ziglang.org, click on download, select your version, extract the file and copy its path. Open your start window and search for system environments. And add the path of the extracted file to the system variables. And you're good, daddy. Create a file called hello.zig and then import the print function from the standard library. Then create a public function and define the main function. And void to indicate that the function does not return any value. Now just print hello world and define it as a string. Now back to the point, why do I think it has an edge over Rust. First, you can debug Zig easily without having to deal with cryptic error messages or compiler magic. And it's a flexible language that gives you full control over your code. It lets you choose how to manage memory, whether it's manual, automatic, or custom. It lets you choose how to handle errors, whether it's by returning values, using assertions, or even calling C functions directly using the Zig's foreign function interface, or using Zig's comp time feature. And by the way, the comp time feature is one of its most powerful and unique features. It allows you to execute any code at compile time and manipulate types as values without any runtime overhead. But you know what's cooler? My personal mentorship program that starts at four five dollars a month like you can get your own notion database that i update regularly to simulate the work experience that you absolutely need to get used to we will have meetings talk regularly answer your questions and teach you the latest tricks that no one has ever taught you check it out it's down below but back to zig basically its performance is comparable to even better than c and c and to be honest you have to subscribe to my 100 free newsletter i mean why not free tutorials thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one